Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a DTM, DTM and a 3D model in this week. But first, here is a quick review of what we covered in the previous video. Now, next we will uh, create a DTM, DTM file from these layers. There are several methods to do this. Start by going to the surface menu and select the select. You can select it from photography or you can do it here from the select visible entities. Here you can change the color to your 3D entity like we selected this one. Like a plumbing. Here is a 3D model of surface layers. Like okay, your 3D topography is ready. You can switch off these two layers and yes. your topography is ready. Now we are going to import data mine CC file for creating block model and this things. For this, first uh, turn off all layers, then navigate to the bottom left corner, this one of the disk interface and click on the G model display. Then go to the geology, the G model display menu for new geology section. Choose CSV import. Click on data mine, this one, or block Q model, this one, or you can also get it from the sub link to import CSV. Or in this case, we are going to do it to, from the data mine. Here is our block model. Open it. Now uh, you can preview the block model by use of review function to check the detail here or the details of the block model you can see here East Tank, North Tank, and Emission, Eels, Tingles, Tingles, Element ID, Rock Class, etc. etc. Uh, see, uh, you can see that uh, the column in the CSC file are correctly delimited by Thomas. Once you are satisfied with the preview, proceed with the import prepared 3D model. Now, to modify attributes in the table during import process and test 
set the attribute of the string column is x and right. Similarly, for north thing, select white and right. For elevation, select z down. On dx, dy, dz are just the limit, like dx is the limit in the x direction. So select x extent for y, select y extent for z, select z extent. Other attributes like uh, topography and copper and what distance method is used. Apart from topo and copper, the zonal, the block, glass, etc. will remain in this attribute. Then let me finish. Now read data more from the model. Click on the read data from the model. Before clicking, you will find here the x limit of origin of origin, y limit of origin at z model, and current size and number of cells all will be zero here. When you click on the read data from the model, you will find these figure. Here I already uh, uh, read the data from the model, so I have these data, but you will get it after the read data from the model. You can rotate the model here, but I don't need it here. Click next. Click finish. Data mine block model is importing. It take some time. Almost done. We will wait for a while. Do you want to save your yes? No, uh, minimize your program and go to the data model. Here you see uh, that a third file is indicated uh, uh, by the block model name. This is the your new block model which you have created. 